Hi guys, in this video I'm going to solve the challenges of program interaction in pwn.college. So there are plenty of challenges that are listed here. So I'm starting with level 1. Click on start button and connect to that machine via SSH. So you will need a key in order to connect to the machine as I am already have that key. If you are not familiar with how to do that SSH configuration then check out my articles. So we are inside that machine now using SSH. So basically every file or like every challenges contains the instructions to solve the challenge uh, stating from level 1 to certain number. So to find that there will be a challenge folder like inside uh, the root directory which contains all the files related to the challenge in this in most cases it, it will be run so let's try running the binary file so it will give some instructions to solve the challenge here are the instructions the first one is to use bash to run this file so this is satisfied as we are uh, running the file with bash and second there, there is no condition here so it is telling that the challenge will output a reward file if all the tests pass here in this case there is no test so we got the flag as this is a basic level so level 1 so it will be easy starting level 2 so as soon as you click the start button of uh, any level it will automatically change the instance to certain level again let's try to run the binary file okay so here there is another condition the first one is default which is satisfied the second one is telling that the program will check for a hard-coded password over standard input okay let's copy this we have to input this keyword to this program here you can see it is reading in your input now we have to paste that and we got the flag these exercises are for absolute beginner to like even an expert so everyone can try solving these labs ok now the first one is default ok the last one gives a flag and this one the challenge will check that the argv of num holds like argv of num array holds value like below okay like listed here num okay value okay let me explain this so whenever we run a program in this case here uh, run is the file which is a, a binary file which takes certain level of arguments for input or it will process the input based on arguments so this challenge is expecting us to pass an argument with this keyword as a first argument basically uh, like while well, arrays have the index starting from 0 so in this case the challenge run file is considered as a 0th index and the first index has to be this keyword so we have to copy this copy the string and we have to pass this as a input to the program so this is the zeroth index the run file and this keyword will be the first index so we, we are adding this as a string so we have to enclose this with quotes so we got the flag so basically command line arguments are a kind of method which we can use to pass input to the program in this case we used a command line argument 
giving this string as a command like a, not a command it's a command argument an argument which we are sending to the program This challenge will check that environment key okay holds value listed here okay basically environment uh, in the sense so this environment which we are using so basically a CMD terminal and all those kind of uh, command line interfaces have an environment which holds certain level of uh, variables that we can use inside that program so by default there are uh, certain variables let me show you so if you type e and v we can able to see there are certain number of variables are being used these are some some of those variables are default one which we can also use to execute uh, applications in this case they, they have mentioned that we have to set a variable called uh, with this name and the value should be this okay in order to do this we copy this to set a variable environment variable we have to use a keyword called export and we have to use a equal sign in this case we are assigning this variable with this value hit enter and again let's try to run the program it will automatically check whether the variable has that value or not so we got the flag and environment variables are like um, temporary variables as soon as you close your terminal it will be destroyed so let's go with the fifth level okay so the basic one and the flag out so we have two tasks here the challenge will check that the input is redirected from a specific file path okay redirected from a specific file path which means uh, we have to pass an input from this file to our own program so similarly like uh, we done in the previous exercises we have to pass this password to this challenge.run using this file okay let me explain you that let's type echo and the password first let's store this password into this file here slash tmp is a uh, folder for temporary files and this for this one this is a file name lxqhch so uh, basically what we are doing here is we are storing this keyword inside this file and we are going to pass this file to the uh, to our program okay if you read this file we will get that password okay this file contains hard-coded password that we need to pass into the run file okay so in order to do that let's pass this okay there we got the flag so what I have done is so I am using this less than symbol which means that whatever the contents that I have in the right side will be sent to the command in the left side. So this is the program file which takes input from this file. If I use a greater than symbol the output will be stored to the right side of the file. So this is the case. this is called a redirection of input and output let's try 
by the level 6 okay so in this case we have to redirect the output like we did in the previous exercise uh, we used uh, redirection to like uh, redirect an input to the application which we are running now we have to redirect the output of a run file to a specific file okay so what we are going to do is we have to store the output of challenge so this will be the basic file binary file that we are using uh, for every levels so what we have to do is we have to store the output of this file or this application to a specific file we are saving the output to a file for that we will be using this greater than symbol and the file which we want to store so in this case it is uh, inside the temp, uh, temp TMP directory which is temporary directory and the file name will be icjtji if we hit enter we will get the file Okay, here we got uh, two challenges the first one checks for specific par parent process bash okay that's satisfied check the uh, check that the environment is empty except LC or uh, except a variable which is impossible to get rid of in some cases okay so what we have to do in this level is that they are expecting us to run the challenge file which means the run binary file without environment variables so by default so each and every time if you run a program the environment variables will be set to certain values as you can see there are a lot of variables here so in order to remove that we can use a keyword called unset or we can like search for any other alternatives to search that we have to type the command and uh, help option so here you can see there is a parameter like an argument that can be used to start the shell or process with the empty environment so let's try that Okay, let's check okay as you can see that uh, even after clearing all the variables the environment variables are set so we have to run the file program file in this command itself so let's clear, clear all the variables using I command but we have to preserve this variable so again to preserve this here again I'm using this okay so what I'm doing here is I'm after clearing all variables I'm setting this variable LCC type and the value that will be fetched from here so after clearing all variables it will set only one variable as per the challenge instruction and we are going to run the file we got the file So the challenge checks for a specific parent process shell script. Okay. Performing checks on the parent process of this file. Okay, here we can see that some of the test cases are failed. 
the cell process cell process must e must be executing a shell script that you wrote like this okay okay so in this challenge we have to create a script file dot sh file to run this challenge okay to do that uh, let's create a file called run dot sh we can use nano editor to edit the file and we can simply type the command that we want to run okay so again we have to change the permissions of that file okay now let's run the file okay we have to use bash let's try that bash run okay so basically what this script is going to do is the script contains a command which will run this file this is the process which happens here in most cases scripts are used to automate or do some kind of programming things okay let's check instructions okay again we have to use a script that uh, will check for hot coded password or standard input okay so again like uh, in the previous step uh, I think it's task 2 or something we have to input this file or oh, sorry uh, the string after the program is being executed so we already have the run.sh file so we'll run that using bash command and after that we have to input give the input password here we got the flag So again we have to run uh, the program file, the run file, binary file with a uh, script file. So after that it should hold value like this. Similarly the first uh, argument of the file should contains this. It's simple. So what we have to do is again we have to edit the run file. So in the previous task we have uh, did like this. Uh, what we do is we'll run, uh, we'll type the command like this, and we'll add this string. Similarly, we have to do the same, but inside this sh, which means the self script. So while running this run dot sh file, the command will automatically take the string and send that to the run program. So the same thing, but we are doing with the automation. Uh, yeah, we have to type bash. We got the flag. 